Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael, your host here at MTT Finance. Today, we're gonna to be going over two different methods to paying off debt, one being the snowball method and the other being the avalanche method. I'm gonna be going over how each one of these methods works and what you would have to do if you are going to use one to pay off debt. And then after that, I'm gonna be pulling open a spreadsheet and showing you how the snowball versus the avalanche method of paying off debt each works with real life numbers. And then lastly, in today's video, we'll be going over the pros and cons for each one of these methods and which one might best suit you. Before we do that, as always, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as I put out content like this weekly regarding finances, growing wealth, and staying out of debt. When it comes to paying off debt, we wanna focus on two things. Number one, paying off our debt as quick as we can, that way we don't have to worry about it. And number two, minimizing the amount of interest we're paying on each debt account. So the first debt repayment strategy that we're gonna talk about today is what's called the snowball method of debt repayment. If you're familiar with Dave Ramsey, this is the one that he typically suggests to the people that he talks with. In the snowball method of debt repayment, you're basically gonna take all the different accounts of what you owe debt in, and then you're going to arrange them so that you pay off the ones that have the lowest amount first working your way down the list until you get to the one that has the most amount due. Once you have all your debt accounts in order, arranged from the one that has the lowest amount to the highest, you're then gonna start with targeting the one that has the lowest amount due and putting the most amount of payment towards that one and making minimum payments on all the rest. With the snowball method, you're gonna be paying off a lot of your lower debts relatively quickly and then working your way down the list until you get to the ones that you owe more and a lot of money on. Next, we have what's called the avalanche method of debt repayment. In this method, you're going to arrange your accounts in order from the one that has the highest interest rate to the lowest. And then once you've done that, you're gonna start by targeting and paying the most amount on the one with the highest interest rate and then moving your way down the list. Like with the snowball method, our top priority debt account is what's gonna get the most amount of money each month and all the rest we're gonna be making minimum payments on. You then are gonna rinse and repeat until you've worked your way all down the list and then when you get to the bottom, you'll be paying off the debt that has the lowest interest rate. I'm now gonna take you over to my computer and we're gonna open up a spreadsheet. I'm gonna put in some real life numbers and using each of these methods, I'm gonna see which one involves paying the least amount of interest and which one we can use to pay off our debts the quickest. So I have an Excel spreadsheet here and I'm gonna be using a debt reduction calculator. I'll actually leave a link down in the description to the specific one I'm using. That way after this, you can go ahead and input your exact numbers and come up with which strategy is gonna work best for you. So let's just make some hypothetical numbers here. Let's say we have a credit card and we owe on the credit card $1,200. Credit cards are known for having a high interest rate, so we owe, um, there's a 20% interest rate on this card and each month a minimum payment is gonna be due of $50. Up next, our next uh, debt is an auto loan. We pay for our car. Let's say we've been paying off, you know, paying off this loan for a while. We're down to twelve thousand dollars on the balance. It's a four point five interest rate for the vehicle, and there's a minimum payment of one hundred and fifty dollars every month. Then, well, let's say we have another credit card. This one only has nine hundred and fifty dollars, a little bit lower interest rate than the first, with eighteen percent, and each month sixty eight dollars is due. And then lastly, because I know a lot of people have them, student loans. Uh, we have a student loan debt of 30,000 and um, that is at an interest rate of 5.5. And each month our lender is expecting us to pay $200 towards this student loan. Now, the nice thing about this calculator is it gives us a total number, a total breakdown of um, how much total debt we have and also gives us a breakdown of how much is due each and every month here. We see we need, uh, we have a total minimum payment due of $468. Now this number right here, the monthly payment, this is the number, um, this is why you need to know your budget and know how much money you're making and know how much money is going out and how much you have left over. Because right here, I'm saying hypothetically, after we paid our expenses, 
we have $1,000 left over to put towards our debt. You need to know this because you need to be keeping track of your budget and know how much money you have available each month to put towards debt. Maybe this number is lower um, for you. If, if it's lower, then some of the stuff will be adjusted as you'll see, but you have to be keeping inventory and keeping track of your finances to have these calculators work for you. Let's be a little bit more conservative and just say that we only have $800 to put towards all our debt. So um, we still have to make $468 of minimum payments, but this time we have $800, not a thousand to put towards our debt payments. So we're gonna start off with the snowball strategy. This is the one that arranges them so that the lowest balance is first. So as you can see here on the, the screen, I put the credit card number two first, the 950, the credit card number one next, the 1200, the car loan of 12,000, and then the student loan of 30,000, sorry. And then as you can see, it actually gives us a uh, estimated month payoff. So it says our last, um, at this rate with the $800 putting towards our debt, we'll have um, all our debts paid off by May, 2026. And it also gives us a total breakdown of the total interest we will be paying over all the lives of our all the lives of our loan, the lives of all of our loans. It's a weird thing to say. Anyway, um, as, as you can see here, using the snowball method, it gives us sixty um, or sorry, six thousand seven hundred and seventy-four dollars and sixty-seven cents. I'm actually going to write that over here because we're going to keep track. So six thousand. $774.67. Um, so lower is better. This is the number that we're going to be paying back to our lenders in addition to the amount that we borrowed. Lenders like to make money and this is how they do it through interest. Then let's rearrange this to be the avalanche method. Remember avalanche means that the highest interest accounts are first. So now it put it so that Credit card number one, the 20% interest is first. Then credit card two, the 18. The auto loan, which was 4.5. I'm sorry, the student loan, which was 5.5. Then the auto loan, which was 4.5. So it arranges them from highest interest to lowest interest rate. And as you can see, um, the month payoff is actually the same as it was with the snowball method, as here with the avalanche method. So nothing really changes with the month payoff in this scenario. Um, but as you can see, the total interest paid is a different number. This time it is $6,444.67. So we still have the same cents here. So we can put this in over here at the avalanche number, 44. And I put in a little formula here so that it shows us the amount we save um, you know, on our interest. By using the avalanche method over the snowball method, we're actually saving $330 um, over the lives of all of our loans. So in this scenario, the avalanche method wins if we're trying to um, pay off our student loans and have the lenders take the least amount of money from us because here we paid less in interest. So the last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to the snowball versus the avalanche method is the pros and cons to each of them. With the snowball method, you're able to pay off those accounts rather quickly that have low amounts of debt on them and then work your way up to the ones that have a higher amount. When you do this and then you're able to contribute the money that you're paying on those low debt accounts towards the higher ones, it feels better psychologically. To give you an exercise example, Say you haven't been to the gym in about 10 years and you're gonna start going again. When you first walk into the gym, let's say you set a goal for yourself that you want to be able to do 10 to 15 push-ups. Now, depending on who you are, that's a relatively small goal that could be easily achieved. So when you go into the gym, you're gonna be working on push-ups, you're gonna be working on other muscle groups that will allow you to complete more push-ups and have the endurance to do so. Then after a short amount of time, you'll be able to complete 10 to 15 push-ups, and then you're gonna set a new goal for yourself and maybe doing 25 to 30. Eventually, you're gonna be able to set goals for yourself far beyond just doing push-ups. 
When you set goals for yourself in these small increments and you're able to achieve them relatively quickly, that's a psychological boost for you and it keeps you motivated to keep going back to the gym or with this example, to keep paying off your debts and it feels good to see them go away. Contrasting this now with the avalanche method. If we were to use that same gym exercise analogy with the avalanche method, we would see it's a quite different story. So once again, you haven't been to the gym in 10 years and now you're, it's your first day back in the gym and you set a goal for yourself to complete an Ironman competition. Now I'm not saying you wouldn't be able to complete that, but if that's the only goal you set for yourself, it's gonna take you a long time to get there and you're not gonna be able to see the small increments of growth that you'll have on your way to achieving and being able to compete in an Ironman competition. Bringing this analogy back to our situation today with the avalanche method of debt repayment, it can become frustrating and you can get unmotivated with paying off your debt because with this method, typically, you're not gonna see that quick turnaround of paying off those smaller amounts first. However, a big benefit to using the avalanche method is that typically with this method, you end up saving more money because you're paying off and targeting those high interest debts first. Those are the ones that are gonna sap the most money out of your wallet. And so if you target those ones first, even though it's higher, typically in the long run, you're actually gonna be saving yourself some money. So which option's best, the snowball method or the avalanche method for debt repayment? Well, ultimately, it comes down to your decision. You see, some people will gravitate more towards the avalanche method as they're able to keep their eye on the prize and they know that in the end, they're actually gonna be saving themselves more money from not paying as much interest. I'm not a financial advisor, so I really can't tell you what's best for you to do in regards to which method you should use, what the snowball versus the avalanche. But what you should do is keep a running record of your accounts Use the calculator and the spreadsheet like what I did and plug in your numbers. See which method is gonna work for you. See which one you're gonna be able to stay on track with. That's the key, is just staying on track and not letting yourself get buried in more and more debt. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found value from this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on what you thought and how it's going with your debt repayments, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe.